On this short cast, we'll take a look at one of the biggest issues on campus, parking, and see the new efforts to improve it. UTA volunteers help out Mission Arlington, and one student knows firsthand what this means to those in need. And poet Mike Wynn sits down with us on a short cast exclusive to discuss his poetry and plans for the future. Your short cast begins now. Thousands of new students on campus means additional cars and limited parking space. But police say they've got a solution for the problem. Row after row, space after space, nearly all parking spots are taken in the UTA parking lots. I'm about to go to class and I can't find a parking spot. The university is growing in enrollment and campus size. Construction projects cost more than $300 million and a total of 33,449 students enrolled this fall, which makes parking a major issue on campus. We know they have a lot of students, so why such small parking? I know they enrolled like way too many people. But some students say the solution is easy. You just have to wake up early and come early. If you don't, then all of this is going to be full and you're going to be parking all the way on the other side. Assistant Police Chief Ricardo Gomez says the parking issue also comes from a lack of time management. But a lot of people like to complain because they, they get here right before classes start and they expect to find a parking space close to their building and uh, they can't. He says although the student enrollment is high, the university has an answer to the parking issue. And the good news is that we have a new parking garage uh, that has over a thousand additional spaces uh, to add to our parking on campus and uh, I think we just need to get the word out that that parking garage is available and students and employees can park there. The garage is located on Center and UTA Boulevard. Two of the three sections are completed and parking is available for staff, students, faculty, Brazos and Arlington Hall residents with proper permits. Members of the First Baptist Church of Arlington also park in the garage. UTA volunteers had their first major event of the semester, Mavs on a Mission. On Saturday, 85 students showed up at Mission Arlington to help out. Mission Arlington serves more than 600,000 people a year. Students move boxes of food, water, furniture, and clean the medical clinic. UTA volunteers Health and Homelessness Director Alicia Castillo says she knows firsthand what those in need go through. And I do know what it's like to, to go without something or to be worried as like a little kid to worry if like your mom's okay and things like that. I just kind of feel like I'm not able to make up for what happened to me, but I might be able to help somebody else realize that they don't have to stay that way. The group will have more events this semester. All students are welcome to volunteer. You can check for future opportunities by going online to their website below and clicking on events. UT alumni Michael Gwynn shared his poetic and spoken word inspirations on a short cast exclusive. He says poetry can provide healing in tough times. I used to come home and my pickup basketball games became, you know, fist fights. Um, my tag or flag football became tackle football. It was a lot of frustration, uh, a lot of, you know, anxiety there. So when I started writing, it's just there it was a way for it to, you know, to come out on page. Be sure to check out the Shortcast exclusive next week for the full version of the interview. Don't forget to watch the Shortcast next Thursday for more on UTA News. We'll take a look at life as an international student and celebrations for Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm Brianna Bolton. Thanks for watching the Shortcast.